So we're talking today with Jim Donovan. He is the former drummer from the multi-platinum award-winning group Rusted Root. He's also now semi-retired, I guess, from the rock and roll world. He's going to tell us about a real fun event that's coming up in a couple of weeks. Welcome, Jim Donovan. Hello. Nice to be here. So did I get uh, did I get the intro right? You're a multi-platinum. They call that award-winning, or how do they what do they say about that? You know. Uh... I need to figure out who they are first of all, and then <laughs> and then go to them and we'll try to figure it out. Yeah, it's uh, you know, I, I've uh, had had a lot of lot of good fortune throughout the career with uh, with recording and with performing. Uh, the band I played with, we sold three million records and toured with a, a lot of uh, a lot of my heroes. Yeah, yeah. I I have to tell you, I was watching um, the original Ecstasy video. Mm -hmm. uh, on YouTube, <laughs> and uh, there's a, a very, uh, I'm sure you now maybe regret it, but there's a great scene with you uh, with a rose in your mouth. Yes, yeah, that, that's very definitely uh, on the regret list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I, if, if you watch it, that whole video might be on your regret list. I, 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 t I tell you what, it, it, it definitely, uh, it's definitely, it's not on my regret list because it was so bizarre and fun and weird. <laughs> Uh, so, someday I can tell you the whole story of that one. It's it's a pretty funny story. Well, that's, I'm sure that's a story you might not want to tell your daughters right away, too. So. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, we, uh, in the interest of full disclosure, I think it should be said that you and I have uh, some history in drumming together. Uh, we, I think I got to know you best first about, about 15, 20 years ago when we were doing that uh, men's drumming group over at the Newman Center. Yep. I remember that. Mark Rush was doing all that, uh, uh, what did he call that? The, um, all that, the hero's journey work. Hero's journey, right. Yeah, right. He, he still does that. It's, uh, it's pretty fantastic. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, I think that's where I first really got an appreciation of uh, the transformational work of, of drumming and just how deeply that can uh, bond a, a group of people uh, totally non-verbally. You know? Yes. And it totally... One of the most fun things we did together was those drum cruises in, in about 10 years ago. We did oh, yes. a lot of those. Tell us your experiences about that and, and what kind of uh, ecstasy you derive from those events. We, uh, yeah, several years ago, we did these, these uh, cruises on the rivers of Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm trying to remember what, what exactly we called them. Uh, River we, we would sail. Yeah, we would sail for three hours on the rivers, and uh, there'd be 300 of us, of us just drumming and dancing and laughing, and uh, really feeling that just the the connection of of the people. We had little kids and senior citizens and everybody in between, and we all made something together. That's I think what I liked the best. Yeah, that, those were so much fun. I yeah. can tell you, and I know that's your career now. Basically, you you were a uh, tell us about your current position. Uh, at St. Francis, and then some of the gigs that you're doing. Sure, it is. Uh, it's, and, and this is by design. It's it's a it's a really wide uh, amount of things that that I that I have my hands in. I, I teach full time at St. Francis University. Uh, I just took over as chairman of the fine arts department here. Um, got my master's degree a, a few years ago, and um, you know really enjoying having uh, the influx of new students every year. It's, it's always, uh, they keep me on my edge. They're very bright, very sharp. Uh, up here I do classes that relate to music and wellness. Uh, we do some, some team and leadership development. I teach some traditional West African drumming classes as well as uh, I direct something called the World Drumming Ensemble up here. Mm. Uh, beyond that, I also uh, train and, and teach outside of the university. So I do lots of corporate events, again, team building and wellness in particular. Um, and the trainings I do, you know, a after having taught for over the last 15 years, I decided that before I leave the planet, uh, I want to make sure that I share all the things that I've learned uh, to as many people who are, as are willing to, to learn it. So I have a, a couple of different trainings I do. One is called Drum Circle Leadership, and the other is uh, an event that's coming up in Pittsburgh soon called Sound Empowerment Training. Sound Empowerment Training. So tell us about that. What You're doing more than just drumming, then. You're doing all different kinds of sounds? That's right. The, the premise of, of any of the teaching and any of the trainings that I do is that I make it uh, a mandate to myself that I figure out a way to reach anybody who is willing, even if they aren't trained musicians. 
what I've learned about sound and music is that um, having come from a classically trained background and having gone through that system, I recognize that even though the system is good, one thing it does is um, kind of um, not intentionally is it leaves out a lot of people. Uh, particularly the people who might not be good at reading music or regurgitating something uh, on a page. Oh, my microphone just fell. <laughs> and so, you know, one That's thing I, I've done to—I'm sorry. The one thing I've done to 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 counter that is to create systems, trainings, workshops that invite everybody, uh, even if they don't believe they're good at it. So, sound empowerment is all about using the tools of rhythm. rhythm uh, and the voice to help people shift energy. So, so when I when I talk about energy, I talk about it in terms of heavy and light. And what heavy energy means to me is the energy of anxiety, the energy of you know constriction, of fear, of worry. And we use sound, you know, rhythm, voice, drumming, toning, chanting, as a tool to shift that heaviness into lighter energy. So energy that is um, similar to being feeling, just feeling content, feeling open, feeling relaxed. Um, and when we, when we do that with people, something else happens. And that is that we become more available, uh, more willing to connect with each other in an authentic way. So it has, has a couple of, of uses and, you know, the more we do it, the, the deeper, the effect of it becomes. So, you know, we first relax, we first open, and then we connect with the people that we're with. And it's, uh, it's, it's a very satisfying, uh, satisfying training for me to do and, and, and as I witness for people to take. So in your training coming up, are you, is it geared then mostly for people who uh, m maybe have no experience with music whatsoever? Or is it for people who have had a little bit of experience and really like it? Or give us the give us the kind of people you think would be empowered by this workshop. Yeah, it's it's both. I have people. And I've done this training now for about five years, and I typically get a mix of of very curious seekers who have no experience with music, and I have uh, a significant amount of professionals that come into this. So behavioral health care occupational therapy, nurses, educators, who are looking for source material and ways to better connect with the people that they work with. So you have like professionals. Given, yep. It's given them more tools in their toolbox, basically. It, exactly, exactly. It's, it's something that um, is designed to really meet the need of the individual. So I've got people that just come and use the training as a retreat. Uh, they come and just enjoy the weekend. They experience the sound. They experience the techniques, and they do it just for themselves, which is wonderful. Uh, and then I have others uh, who come in for professional reasons. So uh, really, it's 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 all across the map. I have people from all over the country that come in from it or for it. I'm sorry. Um, you know, as far as as Alaska and California, I mean, wow. people, people. It's it's. I don't even know how they find out about it, but it's 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 fascinating to see. There's this new thing. It's called the internet. Oh, yes. You may have heard about it. Yeah. That's how they fit. Yeah. That's how they fit. Thanks, Ben. I keep forgetting we have technology. <laughs> what? Uh, tell us about where you're going to have the have this and the facility and uh, if there are accommodations, that sort of thing. The this training, uh, it's it's happening October 10 through the 12th, so it's a three day experience. It's at Lauraville uh, Mennonite Retreat Center, and that's in Mount Pleasant, PA. It's about 45 minutes south of Pittsburgh beautiful location um, it's going to be right when the leaves are turning right in the laurel mountains and uh one of the the real nice things about the center is that they have uh this this path that leads up to the top of a mountain where they where they are and there's a big labyrinth on the top of the mountain that looks oh, nice. overlooks all of creation so it's it's a really uh, magnificent place to to just be and so it's one pretty reasonable price for uh the, the workshop and the accommodations and everything yeah, the, the, the price on the so so people sometimes people commute, so I separate the housing from the from the tuition. So the tuition's three ninety nine. Okay. Uh, if you if you purchase it before October fourth, I believe. And um and then the housing, there's there's plans of, of housing on my website, which is drumcircleleadership.com. Okay. Uh, all that information uh, lives there. 
drumcircleleadership.com. That's right. And people can find you at uh, jimdonovanmusic.com. That's right. Um, and it, I, the thing that, um, you know, I, I was a journalist in the Navy and I've done a lot of public speaking. Uh, I've gotten up in front of <coughs> groups. When I was a Navy recruiter, I got up in front of high schools in a starch white <coughs> uniform. It, nothing can get you over your fear of public speaking and things like that. So it's never been a huge issue for me, but there's still, I know for a lot of people, uh, and it's not just public speaking, but any kind of performance, there's this huge anxiety in our culture that says, if you don't do it right, you're going to look like an idiot, you know? That's right. And um, e even though we don't hold other people that we watch to those same standards, I, I think it's kind of interesting. And uh, we just want to give a little bit teaser. You have got the best, the best story of overcoming uh, performance anxiety taught to you by none other than Carlos Santana. Can you give us a little teaser about that? Yeah, well, we can set up a, we'll set up another another chat for this so I can really tell the full story. It's, yeah. it's a good 10 we'll have you on as a full guest. It's a for, good, for, it's a good 10 minute story, but the, the gist of it is that in uh, both 1997 and 2002, uh, the band I was in, Russell Root, uh, Got to got to tour with Carlos Santana for two summers, so I get to spend the whole summer. It was like summer camp with Carlos, <laughs> and he uh, he invited us on stage to to play a song with him every night. We got to do this, and the story is about um, Carlos Carlos surprising me in the middle of a show by pointing at me, and when he pointed, it was time to take a solo, and. Uh, I won't ruin the end of the story, but yeah, yeah, we'll, it, we'll just leave it there. But there are there are some uh, there are some, some 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 pretty terrible things that happen on stage in front of <laughs> uh, I think it was four hundred thousand people total over two weeks. But uh, you know the lesson I think uh, you've learned and and all of us that have ever been in front of groups of people is uh, it's not brain surgery. No one actually dies of embarrassment. It's true. That's that's right. Yeah. That's right. And, and I think really getting that into your bones is one of the most empowering things uh, you can do personally and professionally. So I'm really glad to hear that your training coming up is uh, geared for both both levels. And I, I think it is a really amazing tool for professionals. So I want to really encourage uh, any of the professionals that are that are watching this or, or hear this uh, to get in touch with you, jimdonovanmusic.com. Or give us the other one, drumcircleleadership.com. Yeah, drums, yeah bo both of those are good. You can also email me at jimdonovandrums at gmail.com. That's a good way to get me directly if, uh, if you'd like to ask questions. And I'll just say one more thing about any of the trainings that I do. One of my specialties is, is helping people learn how to bring the best out in others. So there, there's a very clear system, a clear methodology that I teach that shows you step by step how to go from... Uh, you know, being with a group of people who are disconnected and helping to bring them together very quickly. This is this is something uh, even beyond the music part that that I that I love uh, that I feel is really important. Is you know how how can we best reach people who are afraid, who are apathetic maybe, uh, who are disinterested. You know how how do we reach them? How do we bring them in so that we can really offer them uh, fully what we've come to offer them rather than. You work with, with the resistance kids. the whole time. Yeah, you work with autistic kids. Yep. Uh, you work with people in addictions. So these are really powerful tools. Yes, they and they, they work well. I've I've taught it to to many hundreds of people. Uh, lots of good success with lots of good success with it. Now, if we could just get you into the Steeler locker room. Well, um, that that's possible. Yeah. I could do that. <laughs> I'd have to buy some reinforced drums. We could, <laughs> we could certainly do it though. It's it's on it's on my radar. I've I've been working with sports teams recently, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun. Oh, that's great! That's great. Well, tell us, uh, you got some other events coming up this fall through October, November? I do. I have uh, I have a, a general workshop that I've been doing quite often called Drum and Chant, and it's really an introduction to the sound empowerment system. Uh, it's it's designed again for anybody who's willing to try. I bring the drums, and I show you step by step how to use sound and rhythm and even some uh, some other modalities such as breath work and movement to shift energy that feels heavy mm -hmm. into energy that feels light so i, I give really uh step-by-step -step stress relief techniques uh, that you probably haven't seen before 
Um, some things that you can do to help prepare yourself to get deeper sleep. Um, and just, uh, you know, tools that you can use that take about two minutes uh, in time to, to perform uh, just to make you feel good. That's great. And you, you know some of the dates coming up in October, November? I have uh, in October, mm, the, 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 I'll tell you what, the best place to go is jimdonovandrums.com or jimdonovanmusic.com okay. and look at events. But I have events coming up this week in McMurray, PA and Greensburg, PA. That is uh, October two and three. And then uh, I have other events coming up in November and December locally in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, but I also travel regionally too. So if, if you're watching this from out of town, uh, jimdonovanmusic.com, click on events. Yeah. It, it, you know, uh, you, I love the, the whole idea of light and heavy energy. Um, and I'm wondering how, how you feel when you have students uh, in your class who weren't even born when, when you were on stage at Woodstock in 1999. Uh, that, that is uh, every year that goes by increasingly the case where I, I talk about something that happened you know, the, our big record when I woke came out 20 years ago this week. Wow. So it's, wow. it's been 20 years since then. And, uh, it's just, you know, time is uh, really going back quickly, but yeah, they were all wee little and it's, uh, it's sobering to, to see how much time is going by. And, and it's, it's also good too. Yeah. Well, best of luck to you, Jim. Thanks for coming on today. My pleasure. Glad to be here.